Hello, this is Connor. I haven't made a video in a long time. Again, I feel like I say that every single time I make a video, <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but I, I don't make regular videos. I've been very busy because I got a job, so I've been working that new job. Getting the job was a process, and then now that I'm starting to work, I'm busy a lot, and when I'm not busy, I'm tired because I've been working. Oh man, just, you know, lots of, lots of stuff going on, and I haven't really... I've got lots of video ideas, I just haven't made a video, and I'm hoping to get to a point sometime soon where I can start making more. It'll probably be still a little while though, because I'm going to be busy next weekend. I'm going to be in DC and then down in Virginia Beach to go meet the uh, Christian psychiatrist, psychologist, whoever that we're going to meet about me. Um, <laughs> So, um, yeah, sorry I haven't made a video, but today I have another video for you. By the way, I would really like to make an intro for my account, you know, you, you know what an intro is. You know, something with music, something that's like mine, that makes my brand. I'd really like to make one, but I have no clue how. So if you guys know of any good apps or any good websites to make it with, let me know. Because I would really like to make one. Um... I guess let's just dive into the video. So a while ago, I told you guys that I ordered or someone ordered for me an STP packer. It is finally here. Um, so the story behind that, we ordered it in four weeks. They said it takes four weeks maximum to get there. We ordered it, four weeks came, it wasn't here. And we were like, what the fuck? So we emailed them and basically what happened is the mail service actually messed up and sent it back to them. So it wasn't their fault. But then they mailed it again and we'll talk about that later. I just realized I didn't mention something. Obviously you can tell I have a new haircut from my last video. I've had this haircut for a while now, but it is different from what you saw in my last video. That was just really bad. Just the way I had it styled was really bad and really ugly and it wasn't as masculine as I wanted it to be even when I styled it differently um so I'll show you if you don't remember that you can go back to that video I'll show you what that looked like in a minute and I'll show you then what I decided to do to style it with So that's what that looked like and it was okay I passed in it a couple times but not very much so I wanted to get my haircut again and I went back and I got this haircut which is a lot more masculine and now usually this is not how this usually looks I just got out of the shower so this is not I usually have it all like gelled up and yeah it, it doesn't usually look like this but it's not bad when it's like this either so here's a couple of pictures or a few pictures of how it varies because it does sometimes vary of how it usually looks. So that is my new haircut. I've been told it looks good. I like it. So for the time being, I'm going to keep that haircut. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to this. This is not a review video. This is just kind of an unboxing video that I wanted to do because I just got it. So story behind this, if you didn't know, I really wanted this for a long time. I first tried to get it when I was a freshman. I'm now a junior and I just couldn't because I didn't have anyone who could get it for me. But now my horseback instructor, I love her. She's an amazing person. She's been such a good person in my life and such a good friend. She is fully supportive and she's like, yeah, I'll do it. So she, I gave her the money and she got it for me and like I said it, it's taken about eight weeks. It's taken a it's taken a couple months, but it, it's finally finally got here and I'm super excited. So this actually has already been opened and I've already seen it because she needed to open it just to like make sure it was the right thing. So let's just start with the labeling, because I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, what is it gonna say? So covering up all the private information. 
So this is the packaging right here. And okay, for my screen, this is all backwards, but I think when I post it, it ends up not being backwards. So I hope it's not backwards. But it does say, where is it? It says FTM STP right there. Um, it doesn't say toy or novelty item or anything, but it does say FTM STP. So if you're like, I keep looking at myself. So if you're closeted and you're like ordering something, not the, the best for that. But for me, I really don't care. Cause like I said, it was going to a friend and whatever. So that's the packaging shipping. So as I told you, shipping has been hard. It got messed up and that wasn't their fault, but it got messed up. And then we emailed them and they were like, yeah, we'll reship it. And this is where I kind of have an issue. They were like, it'll take four weeks maximum. It took five weeks to get here. We were actually just starting to bother them. Like, why isn't my dick here? It took like five weeks and I find this funny because it says priority two day mail priority two day, but it took five weeks to get here. I Don't know so shipping was Okay, um, now getting into the box There's this paper stuff that they used to pack it I guess and then there are a couple of items here. I don't want to show that because that is information. There is first, um, if you pay by like credit card or PayPal or whatever. I just showed the wrong stuff, didn't I? Yeah. I'm so smart. Um, okay. Well, I showed the wrong stuff. So I'm going to cut that out and do this part again. Okay, now to not show the wrong stuff. This is the right stuff to show. So this is the the price. So it was um, $69.95, so 70 bucks. But then shipping and handling was 24. So it ended up being $93.95. Pretty expensive. But honestly, STPs are expensive, they just are. And if you look on here, I'm gonna try to hide all of her information, my goodness. Ugh. Mango or mango. Stand to be pink 3.5 latex. It says what it is. So that's the, basically like a receipt for it, I guess. And then there are instructions and these instructions have words that I don't like on them. I'm sure you know what those are, or at least have an idea and you wouldn't like it. But it's got directions for use, for packing, urinating, care and cleaning, and just a few extra things that you should probably know. Um, if I keep looking at myself instead of the camera, that's because I've been on Musical.ly a lot lately. Which, by the way, if you don't follow me on Musical.ly, go follow me at Connor Reese Wool on Musical.ly. Warning, I'm super cringy, I'm not good, and sometimes I try to be a fuckboy and I fail horribly. So, but if you'd like that, if you want to be entertained, go over there. But that's why I keep looking at myself, because I'm musically, I look directly at myself. <clears throat> so yeah. So then, let's get down to the good stuff. Um, so I have to say, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's really, really girthy. And so I'm afraid I'm not really going to be able to pack with it because of my family because it's just like It's really girthy. And I don't know how it's gonna fit in my pants. So here it is. Wait, actually before I do that This thing that I'm holding right here is a prosthetic penis. If you do not want to see a prosthetic penis Get off this video because you're gonna see a prosthetic penis This is an educational video My battery wants to die this is an educational type video. It is for educational purposes only to inform about the product. This is not sexual or I mean, I might get a little sexual, but this, this is for educational purposes only. It's not porn. It's not a real penis. It's a prosthetic penis. Please don't flag this video. It doesn't need to be 18 plus. It's just informational. So thank you. All right, so here it is in the packaging. And honestly, this is like really thick. It's really girthy, oh my goodness. So, oh, it's actually in a Ziploc. That's nice, I keep looking at myself. Ooh, it feels weird. Ooh. 
<laughs> it feels really weird. I'm okay. So this is it. It's really, I'm gonna be like Chase Ross and I'm gonna put the dick on my face. I'm gonna, this is really actually kind of light. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into Chase Ross now. So this is the pink color and it's actually kind of light on my skin. It's kind of light colored, which um, in cis men generally their dick is slightly darker than their all over skin tone. Um, so that's just one thing and that's just the, um, the color that I ordered. They do have darker colors. So there are like two main types of STP packers. There are ones that like have, um, it's kind of already got cornstarch and stuff on it. There's ones that have the, um, like a kind of cup that you kind of pee into, you know? And then there's ones like this that have this kind of like spoon. Um, now this is really, really, really soft and really like movable. So I think that's gonna be nice. I don't think it's gonna hurt me. And then the tube just runs through here and we've got a little hole and you can see, hey, you can see my ear. You can see right through it. Um, the balls are like really big. <laughs> they like, this is like really like heavier than I thought it was gonna be. These ball, oh my gosh, this is so squishy. It's so squishy. So the balls aren't hard, which is good. Um, so as far as packing, I guess you just kind of have to like put it in your pants like that. And then when you got to piss, you got to like kind of like maneuver it. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how it works. It's already got kind of this cornstarchy powder on it. Um, so let's just see if you guys can get a good look at this. This is the penis. Um, so as far as realistic listen real realisticness goes, I'm not sure. Look at me, just <laughs> I'm a child. Um, as far as realisticness goes, I can't like give you a great idea of how realistic it is because honestly, I haven't seen that many dicks and I haven't like studied them super well, so I don't really know. But I would say it's somewhat realistic. I mean, the balls are kind of, I don't know, they're iffy. I don't know, I'm, I'm more, I know more what a penis looks like than balls, but I think it's decent. It's just a little big, you know, whatever. Um, you know, there's a good head, there's good details on that. And there's this vein that goes under here. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's actually veins on the side, um, but they aren't colored. There's this like little like part that like got cut off here or something. Um, definitely circumcised, so realisticness realisticness, I can't speak. I don't know, it's okay, it's good. Um, it's just so big and so girthy. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to and this is like twisted. I wasn't super pleased with their shipping and I'm not super pleased with how girthy it is. I'm like, how is that gonna... I'll have to see how it is in my pants. And I'm definitely gonna have to make a harness because I don't wear briefs unless I'm on the menstrual cycle. I wear boxer briefs and so that won't hold it as steadily. It smells really weird. It doesn't smell good. <laughs> Sometimes I hate myself. Um, anyways. But yeah, so this is our first look at the product. And what I, the last thing that I wanted to do, oh, that makes my hands feel weird, is I wanted to measure it, cause like they said it's 3.5 inches. Um, and I just wanna see how accurate that is. And then I also really wanna figure out the girth. It's just like nuts. It is pretty much exactly 3.5 inches. That is great. And what is this girth? Cause and then the girth is four inches around. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, it's girthy. So now I'm going to stick it in my pants. Um, and we're going to see how it looks. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go low and I'm just going to show you what it looks like in my underwear. I'm actually wearing briefs right now to show you what it looks like in there. 
and I can tell that if I was just wearing briefs, it would stay really good in my briefs, and I would not need a harness. So if you don't want to see me in my underwear, which who doesn't? Just kidding. Not that attractive. But if you don't want to see me in my underwear with it looking like I have a dick in my pants, then don't look. So here we have it. This is, it's, if you can't tell, I've got, you know, the balls are here and I've got the dick tucked to the side over here. And this is what it looks like. And then if I have my shorts on, it's, I don't know, it looks like this. <laughs> I don't really know how to judge this very well. Um, let me grab maybe my jeans and see how that looks. All right, I have jeans on now. This is what it looks like in jeans. It dicks like right here. It's more noticeable than when I pack with a sock, but not really too much. Um, now I'm just gonna like flip it. See what it looks like. <laughs> that looks really bad. If I flip it up, it looks like I have like a tiny boner. So, one sec. And if I leave it straight down, it also looks like I have a boner. Or at least like a small one. Or it just looks like I have a really big dick. But I think wearing it to the side would be better. So, my phone is dying. I put it back to the side. And this is what it looks like in um, pajama pants. Um, I guess I should show you what it looks like in my boxer briefs, although I don't have a harness right now. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but let's try it. <laughs> so I just wanted to demonstrate what it looks like when I pack with a sock. When I pack with a sock, it's very, very subtle. Very subtle, because obviously I don't want people that know me as a girl to be like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. So let me put the dick in. All right, so this is like the most awkward video ever. I've got it to the side. The dick's right there. <laughs> um, it's just very big and very girthy. So we'll see how this works out for me. I'm not really sure how it's gonna work. Are you supposed to like, I'm just trying to figure out how you're supposed to wear this. <laughs> well, this will be an experiment for me to figure out how to, I'm a little confused because where the tube is and where you're supposed to, it's just a little, a little confusing. Um, but if anything, if I decide that it doesn't really work as an STP packer, I could always take out the tube and make it just a packer and see if that works. I want to get a Mr. Limpy at some point and see the size difference between them because this is just like really girthy to me, like what the heck? Um, maybe I just don't know dicks well enough. But anyways, that is I guess it for today's video. This is a really crappy video and I'm sorry, but it was just kind of a unboxing, get a first look at this thing. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing, little update. Um, so if you didn't know, I'm in charter school right now, and I'm honestly getting really depressed not having that social interaction and not having a bunch of friends. I'm getting really, really depressed, and so I'm going to try to get back into public school next year. I used to go to the public school near me. I'm trying to get into a couple different ones that aren't near me, but the problem is I'm not in that area. So they're like, why? <laughs> um, but if not, then I'm going to go back to the one near me. It's going to be hard, but I just need to go back to public school, and I'm just going to be me. I'm going to be Connor. I'm going to be out. So yeah, that's it for the video. Um, I have future videos planned. I'll get them as soon as I can. Um, this video will not be up tonight because I have to edit it. And I might end up taking more pictures with it in my pants and find a good way to do it. So this video will be up eventually, but I hope you guys don't mind waiting too much because I feel bad about taking so long between videos but I'm just busy a lot so thank you guys and again if you know a good way to make an intro let me know in the comments if you have any video requests or ideas let me know I'd love to take requests and 
I've been thinking about like doing a Q&A, but I feel like I've got like what 25 subscribers. I feel like that's not really enough. I'm not going to get a lot of questions. If you would want to do a Q&A, let me know. And if enough people say yes, I'll do one. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time.